Hi, my name is Tracy Batiste, and I make books for kids. You might know some of the characters in my stories, characters like Corinne and Drew, Buki and Malik. Today I want to talk to you about one character in particular, Corinne. Corinne is the main character in my series, The Jumbies. Tell us about your character. Corinne is brave and independent and totally in charge, precisely nothing like I was as a kid. I was super shy and could never talk to anyone, far less be as outgoing as Corinne is in the Jumbie series. But Corinne and I are both very opinionated <laughs> and we are both very loyal to our friends and family and we both do like climbing. I grew up on a Caribbean island just like Corinne and I spent a good chunk of my time climbing trees and swimming in the sea and scaling rocky hills. I had some pretty good adventures, but nothing quite on the scale of Corinne's encounters with the creepy jumbies. How did you come up with this character? When I first started writing the Jumbie series, I was actually thinking about one of my favorite fairy tales, Cinderella. Years ago, I had found a Caribbean version of Cinderella called the Magic Orange Tree and I decided to infuse Jumbies with the idea of a fierce Caribbean girl who takes charge when things start to go awry on her island. Corinne as Caribbean Cinderella isn't interested in going to a ball, but there is this strange woman coming between her and her father, and at the end of it all, Corinne doesn't rely on a fairy godmother to save her, she saves herself, her father, friends, and the entire island. What made you want to become a creator of books? I always wanted to write books. I've always had a very active imagination and I'd make up stories at school to tell my friends. Every day we would gather around in the back of the chemistry lab and I realized I was good at telling stories when all my friends would lean in to listen. And then every day they'd gather around again to hear the next installment of the story. In Trinidad, where I grew up, there's a great mashup of music and literature from our Calypsonians. These are singers who sing in a particular style of music called Calypso. They sing about politics and relationships, but many of them can do it on the fly. It's called extemporaneous singing, or extempo for short. You can meet a Calypsonian and have them make up a Calypso about you on the spot. When I was a kid, my family and I would go listen to Calypsonians during carnival season. And once, I met a really popular Calypsonian. We talked for a long time. I don't remember what we talked about exactly, but when we were done, he told my mother that I would for sure be a writer someday. It was a small thing, but because he said that he was sure it would happen, I felt like it really would someday. My family always believed I could do it, but Coming from someone who didn't know me at all, someone who told stories for a living, that felt important to hold on to. If you found a whale in your bathtub, what would you do? I'd ask the kids to help me get in into the car and we'd drive to the Hudson River because whales definitely do not belong in bathtubs. Mm -hmm.